Last month, Beb took another expedition with his leveling rod, and this was live stream on the Earth Awakenings channel. So what was the purpose of this? Okay, so just to be clear, Kool-Aid, you're watching the globe being disproven. Actually, quite the opposite, but I'll get to that a little bit later. We're just, show, we're just showing people that don't have access to this kind of equipment and can't, you know, don't want to go out and buy it. Just for the, This is the kind of stuff you can see and use it for. So you're yeah. right. So what Bev and his team did was set up an auto level, and you can see it's on a tidal flat. And they attached a phone camera to the auto level, so the camera is actually looking through the eyepiece. They also have a surveyor's wheel so they can measure out distances and they're going to show you the obvious that you can't read a leveling rod forever. So right now they're taking a reading next to the auto level and if you look to the upper left over here, the auto level's reading in about this area right here. Now since they were using the camera, the video, the phone camera, and of course this was live stream, you can see that focusing was an issue. But you can see that the reading on the leveling rod that is next to the auto level is between 1.23 and 1.24 meters. So that means that the horizontal reference height of this auto level is about 1.235 meters or about four feet above the tidal flat. Now what I don't know is what the elevation is above the ordinance datum, but we do know that this location would be underwater during high tide. So here is Bev at three different distances. Now even with this blurry photograph on the left at 50 meters, I can still make out the one centimeter and even the half centimeter graduation marks. But at 100 meters, this would be quite difficult to read. And of course, it gets progressively worse the farther away you get. Now, Bev took it all the way out to 500 meters, and actually at this point, he had a bottle with a red liquid in it, and they're trying to see if they can get a reading from that bottle. Now, remember, this crosshair here is the horizontal reference height that is 1.235 meters above the tidal flat at the auto level. And my question is, why is it hitting so high up on Blackpool Tower here? So this is a photo of Blackpool Tower. You can see it sits on top of a building and from ground level to the top of the flagpole is 518 feet. Now to the south of it is this building, which is the old Woolworths building. Now this is from Google Earth and the street and sidewalk in front of Blackpool Tower are approximately between seven and eight meters in elevation. Now here's another photo that's taken from the south and you can see the Woolworth building in front of Blackpool Tower and then you can see the front of the red building that Blackpool Tower sits on. So this line right here would be the approximate level of eight meters of street level in front of Blackpool Tower. I have it so it's intersecting halfway between the red building right here. So again, here we have Bev's horizontal reference height of his auto level that is 1.235 meters above the tidal flat. So here's a copy of that photograph, and I was able to scale it to this photograph over here by this top area and also these nine horizontal trusses that you can clearly see in Blackpool Tower. Now this gives us a good idea of where that street level would be in relationship to what we see through Bev's auto level. Now is this an extremely accurate measurement that I made? No, of course not, but it is more than adequate to understand what we are seeing in Bev's auto level. So the question is, why is the horizontal reference height of his auto level hitting Blackpool Tower way up here above street level. Although Beth claims he is not a flat earther, he believes the exact same thing that they do, that the globe is imaginometry. Now flat earthers always claim that water finds its own level and Bev says the same thing in a slightly different way. He says that a horizontal reference plane and a level line are one and the same. He does not believe that a level line curves down from the horizontal plane 
from the point of the observer. Now again, he measured a horizontal reference height of 1.235 meters with his leveling rod on that tidal flat. Now Bev has a channel called Try Thinking. He claims he understands surveying. He claims he understands geometry. So why would he not understand that what he saw through his auto level that day does not support his claim? Does he really think that this would be reality? If Bev's hypothesis was correct, he should have seen something more like this, where his horizontal reference plane was down in this area, not way up here on Blackpool Tower. Well, the reality is, is that we live on a globe, and this is another example of it. Bev was far enough to the south of Blackpool Tower that his horizontal reference plane hit way up here due to curvature drop. And of course, surveyors around the world see this all the time. And this is why if you Google level line definition, go to the image page, what you're going to see is diagram after diagram after diagram from both surveying and civil engineering websites that show a level line as being a curved line. And of course, that's because we live on a globe.